Just Music am Stand von Electron. Next to me is Cenk. Hello Cenk. Hi. Cenk, the Digitakt. Yeah. Finally. We can touch it, we can see it clear and we can hear it. Yes. Tell us a little bit more about this new product. Yeah. And especially you started with touching. Touching is a very nice part of this. The buttons have got a very nice uh, coating around it. Mm. Have you felt it? It's of course, yes. Nice. But jokes aside, the Digitact is an 8-track audio sampler. Uh, we like to call it a drum sampler because the sequencer and the parameter is kind of designed for that, but you still can load in, for example, this synth sound, play it chromatically, and use the filters, for example, and use the digital effects, and some like filtering for the envelope, and maybe a bit of even vibrato on the sound. Much there, but here we go. Yeah. So it's a drum machine, but it's also it's a very capable sample black player. And um, whatever you record into the audio inputs, which I've recorded, this sound is from uh, Core Odyssey, which I really like. Then I've got it in here. I've recorded a lot more other synths, and I can play them back like this. It's a it's a really cool cool machine to work with. It also has uh, eight MIDI tracks, so it's 16 tracks in total. Okay. And uh, that really makes it a complete package. So you can have an external synthesizer here, sequence it from our awesome electron sequencer, and then sample it back in. And then it's in the machine all the time. It's yeah, we know the sequencer already um, out of the gear, yeah, like yes. the electron um, analog rhythm and stuff. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, we've taken what's really nice about those electron sequencers mm -hmm. and put it in here in a, in actually in a, some kind of better way and what you're gonna, the better thing is the trick conditions that we uh, added to analog rhythm and four which where every step doesn't need to be triggered is also for the MIDI machines now MIDI tracks can do that uh, we, we could actually have a look at that now for example so let's uh, press play and now it's like a, there's a the sequence is running so I could go to the kick track and uh, lay some kicks here just I need to set the, the sequencer length to 16 steps, so it's easier for us to work with it now. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, each of the tracks offers you the sample playback parameters, so you can like change the tuning. It's very nicely detailed. And uh, you have bit reduction. You have start and end points. And you can see it on the nice OLED screen where, what exactly you're playing of the sample. Yeah, it's a new design. Yeah, it's uh, finally we got some. We got a nice screen. You can do all this stuff. You can. You mean you can even like pick this and I play this chromatically. This is a very interesting way to mess around with your samples, I think. So let's uh, go on to the next track, and uh, I think this is a snare. Let's make this fatter. Use the digital overdrive, mm -hmm. which is available for all the tracks, and a digital filter. Uh, it's a multi-mode filter. And add a bit of bit reduction, nice. Mm -hmm. And maybe shorten it a bit. Okay. And maybe change. We've got ultra sensitive, high resolution encoders. You can see that it's very detailed oh, yeah. as I'm switch uh, scanning through the start point. So it's very easy to get the start and the end point. Very easy, yes. So let's uh, put the snares here. So we need to make the kick fatter also. And uh, yeah, we were talking about our sequencer. What's cool is each of the steps can have a totally different settings of all the parameters that I have. Yeah. Like you were saying on analog rhythm and yeah. four. So let's reverse this one, for example. And maybe I can assign two different samples just on these hits here. This, this was most good, I think, yeah. And maybe add more overdrive to this, make it even louder. Mm -hmm. And maybe even like change the tuning of this one with the notes parameter. And maybe I can copy that and paste it here. And change the tuning to, to minus three though. Okay, the copy function is new? No, it exists on the other products as well. Uh, so as I said, we took the awesome stuff from our sequence and put it in here. Okay. Let's, uh, so let's, uh, we can do real-time recording into the sequencer. So you press record and play. You can turn quantize on or off. 
Now you may be thinking, oh, it's a 16 step sequencer. Is uh, there's quantize? Well, yeah. yeah, there is. So let's have a look at that. So let's. So now it's recorded out of quantize. How do I change that? Mm -hmm. You hold the step and you press left and right to see how much the note is notched. See, now it's oh, like, okay, yeah. yeah. You can also apply quantize, global or per track. And this is not destructive. You can add or remove. This is really, really cool stuff. Cool feature, yeah. yeah. So let's see uh, some clap sound here. Kind of boring, but let's go. Good. And uh, yeah. yeah, let's see, you can do like. But let's have a look at the, the trick condition that I was talking. So I don't want all these tricks to be triggered every time. So I can hold the step and say I want 41% of chance triggering that. Yeah. Another one like that, 33. This one, 6. I want this to play like 87% chance. And maybe I want to have another hit here. But I want to re-trigger that, and maybe, mm, okay. yeah, and maybe add reverb to this, and uh, let's go to the bass line. Yeah, so let's uh, mess around with this now. Okay, let's extend the beat to 64 steps. As you can see, the unit isn't really finished. That's why when releasing, we're working on making it smoother. Yeah. Let's uh, try to record that into the beats using the chromatic mode. Okay, so it's possible uh, while you're recording to change the, ste the step sequences. Yeah, yes, it is possible to do that. So let's uh, try recording this. Real-time recording changes, so I can go. Yeah, exactly. And then maybe record filter. And to top all this, it's like you know you can make really nice beats like this, and then you want to perform with it. We have a feature called Control All, where I can manipulate all the tracks at the same time. All right. So by holding the track button, I can change parameters and everything will be affected. Let's try filtering everything out. So I can like add overdrive to everything. Maybe a envelope follower. Let's uh, mute the hi-hats. If you want to go glitchy, you can change the tuning of all your parameters, all your tracks, sorry. Ooh, that's nice. And yeah, that's a cool feature for playing live, man. And now you can reverse it, maybe? Yeah. Or maybe loop everything? Hell, you know what? You can even change all these track samples at the same time. Yeah, so there's a lot in that box and to, to, to last thing that I could say about it is that we have the USB connection mm -hmm. which is used for like uploading your samples and MIDI sync yeah. but we have the technology called Overbridge so all the tracks, the eight tracks that I was playing can be recorded onto your DAW in a multi-track fashion. That's a really, yeah, into the Overbridge and then you'll have a plug-in and stuff which will show more in the coming, uh, coming months, yeah. We have the three MIDI um, outputs and inputs. Yes, MIDI in, uh, out and through. And as I said, you have the MIDI sequencer. Mm -hmm. And uh, it will feature all the tricks that I was showing you with the trick conditions and the micro timing. Um, you can store up to like 256 patterns in this. And then you could save them in like in a project. So you can like save whole thing as a project and stuff. You have a sampler where you can sample in here. And I've captured a loop here, I don't know what it is. 
So I've been resampling something. But now you can like trim the start point very cool like this. And then you get to see on the screen exactly where the sample is starting at. So you don't have to um, work on your samples on your PC or laptop? No, you, you have can do it here. Do it in, in the Digitech? Yes, yes. So Cenk, what is, what is your personal f uh, highlight on this uh, little gear? Mm, yeah, I think what I really like is it's really simple to use. And my favorite would be is this screen here. Mm -hmm. This is a really, really nice way to see what I'm doing. Like, it's a long sample, as you can see. I can like go, I want to play this bit or the here. It's uh, so you can like record a lot of things from your synths or whatever. And then you have the start point to change where you want to play it from. You can jump uh, into the sample. Yeah. And of course, this can be locked per step. All okay. the stuff that I'm showing. So uh, that's one of the things I really like. I like the simplicity, as I said. I love the control all mode, mm -hmm. like I was showing you. And then it's not added in yet, but you'll be able to reload. After you mess up your sound, you'll be able to reload back to where you were. Okay. Uh, we haven't done that yet, but it's, I know it's going to come. Uh, and I really dig the chromatic mode. Because I, I don't want to carry all these things with me. I just want to sample all the cool stuff from them and then use it in this cool groove box. It's, uh, yeah, those are would be my favorite. Ah, okay. one more, one Cenk, more, Cenk, one more. Yeah. or one more. You were saying goodbye, but I'm not saying. Okay, no. uh, let's see. I have captured this uh, sample from uh, YouTube, mm -hmm. and uh, I want to do like granular or time stretching stuff. Okay. So I will turn the loop on. So it's like it's looping now. Yeah, and you can see it's very detailed. The endpoints. Right? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the LFO and assign the start point of the sample playback. And then I'm going to just give it a bit of depth to it and really slow down the LFO. Yeah. And now, so you're like scrolling through the, the piano sample. And then you could add a reverb and delay. Okay. This is, I am just totally blown away by this. It's a crazy feature. You can add bit reduction to make it more, I don't know what the name is that, but maybe shorten the length time. Piano sound sample. Yes, exactly. It's uh, very, very inspirational for my brain. <laughs> Something like that. Yes, I love it. Yeah. Cool. Cenk, yeah. I say thank you, thank you for showing much. us the, digi the Digitact. Um, I think we will see and hear uh, more in the future uh, uh, yeah, about you so. and Electron, of course. Uh, I hope so. Let's see what happens. Uh, it would be nice. And. Uh, it would be really cool to see Digitax in Just Music in Berlin, like we are awesome. here now, but uh, yeah. So um, yeah, hopefully you'll check it out in person. Okay, thank you, Cenk. Thank you, bye. Just Music am Stand von Elektron, Superwoos 2017.